Southeast Asia. Every year during the ninth lunar month of the Chinese calendar, thousands of Taoists throughout the region celebrate a 2,000-year-old tradition called the Nine Emperor Gods Festival. The Nine Emperor Gods Festival is a very, very important festival in Southeast Asian Chinese communities. And it revolves around a carnival-like ritual that takes place for nine full days. The point of this uh, festival is to summon the very, very powerful nine emperor gods. Because they're seen as residing up in the skies, The Nine Sky Lords are believed by Taoists to have been the original rulers of China and the offspring of the supreme god of creation. According to legend, the Nine Emperor Gods come from the nine stars that make up the Big Dipper, seven of which are visible and two that are invisible. They are tasked with controlling the universe and keeping order on Earth. There is this belief in Taoism and Chinese culture in general that the supernatural world takes the shape of a, of a bureaucratic um, empire. And there's a very detailed hierarchy with ranks and bureaus. And the fact that these are known as the Nine Emperor Gods show that they are very high-ranking gods in this celestial bureaucracy and that they do have a very important function of governing, basically, the celestial realm, but also the human realm. In order to assure the will of the gods is honored for the upcoming year, select devotees channel and even embody the nine emperor gods during the festival processions. There are typically about nine spirit mediums who uh, enter a trance and then channel these gods to bring them down and to keep them very content and happy. The reason why it's crucial to keep them happy is because they keep an account and a record of everything that happens on Earth. They control human destiny. At the end of the nine days, when the festival reaches its climax, the gods eventually return to the stars from which they came. Curiously, this idea of nine gods or overlords watching over Earth can be found in cultures throughout the world. The Aztecs of Mesoamerica were known to worship nine gods called the Lords of the Night. In the Norse tradition, nine gods survived the Ragnarok, or earthly destruction. According to Buddhist legend, the Emperor Ashoka consulted with a secret society called the Nine Unknown Men, who were said to possess the knowledge of the universe. The ancient Etruscans of Italy also believed in nine gods that could be persuaded to influence the fate of mankind. And in Greek mythology, Zeus led a council of nine gods created to oversee humanity. The canonical Olympian gods are imagined to be about 12. And they have a sort of governing body as well. And so they have a council. For the most part, the nine most important gods are there. Sitting at the top of that is Zeus. These make up sort of the power structure of the heavens. And they occasionally meet to determine what they're going to do about mankind. Zeus created the Council of Nine. And this was Aphrodite, Apollo, Athena, Demeter, Hephaestus, Hera, Hermes, Poseidon, and Zeus himself. And these are the gods that then could interact with humans, I guess, to keep this in line. 